Well, let's discuss this further. Rakesh Arora, founder at GoIndiaStocks.com is with us. Rakesh, good morning. Uh, glad you could take out the time. So let's first start uh, with, uh, you know, the, the valuation at which this deal has been done. 52 shares of Kesoram for one of Ultratech, as uh, our colleague was just telling us. Uh, do you think Ultratech has managed to pick up a good bargain? I think this is the right valuation because uh, if you look at their greenfield expansion, they are able to do it at less than $70. So they are paying a premium uh, because this capacity is ready and immediately starts adding to profits. So $85 is a reasonable valuation. Uh, but one should also note that it's a swap deal. Uh, so there's no cash outflow. So from that extent, I think they might have been a little bit lenient. Otherwise, it would have been you know even less uh, from what I understand. Um, all right. Uh, it Rakhi, just a minute. I'm just going to take one minute to mention the Escorts Kubota numbers that are flashing for you on your screen. The numbers have come in in low single digit in terms of a growth, but the company says in their press release that despite the festive demand being good, a few states' demand was marginally impacted because of scanty and unseasonal rainfall. Uh, keeping that in view, the domestic tractor industry has been almost at record levels. So it's been barely a 3.7% growth that we've seen in the month of November overall. And domestic growth has been about 6.7%. So exports are still under pressure, but domestic growth not too bad. All right, uh, getting back to, um, you know, this Kesaram deal. Rakesh, so for Ultratech particularly, uh, what should retail investors be doing? What kind of upside do you see? So... I mean, uh, you have seen the brokerage reports. Uh, nobody has really raised uh, target price as much uh, because, uh, you know, while it's a good deal for case around shareholders, uh, they have a good opportunity to exit. Uh, but for Altadeg, it's a small deal. Uh, the capacity goes up by around uh, 7%. So it's not a massive impact uh, uh, for Altadeg shareholders. Uh, but having said that, it's a overall good deal from an uh, industry perspective. And uh, I think... Uh, the winners would be the other uh, smaller companies uh, where there could be more action uh, in the coming months. Mm. Rakesh, what about, uh, you know, the geographies? Kesoram, I'm just going through Nigel's notes. Uh, Kesoram, of course, it's uh, got two big units. One is in Karnataka, the other is in uh, Telangana. Uh, so in terms of expanding its uh, overall pan-India presence, which Ultratech anyway has, uh, how do you think this will play out in terms of uh, geographies? And which do you think would be the stronger geographies as we get into, uh, you know, the, the next year? So, with this acquisition, I think, uh, you know, in Karnataka, Antarctica would be around 30-odd percent uh, market share. And Telangana, they were not present, so they get an entry. So, you know, it increases the footprint for Antarctica. Uh, but then it also becomes a little bit challenging for Antarctica is becoming so big that for them to get uh, CCF for a lot of other acquisitions is going to be difficult. And uh, so one needs to keep that in mind uh, from an Ultratech perspective. And if, you know, people are trying to play, uh, you know, future, uh, you know, consolidation, uh, this could be one of the factors and it could lower the valuations for future deals. Okay. Uh, you also mentioned briefly that you will look uh, outside this Ultratech Kesaram deal to other cement companies that are, you know, have perhaps better potential over the next 12 to 18 months. What would your top picks be now? Uh, so, you know, I won't really be able to say names, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, there's general guideline for investors here. Uh, see, this deal has happened around $85. I think the fair value was more like 80 uh, because the stock uh, swap deal, that's why. So if you're looking for, you know, companies, there's a long list which is going down in the market, uh, which can be taken out. Uh, so if they're trading below $80, there's a scope and always uh, leave some room for, you know, deals not happening. So that is one. Number two is that uh, we expect in, you know, you saw the GDP numbers, construction activity is uh, going at full blast. There's a little bit of seasonal debt number, but, you know, the next two quarters look extremely strong. So I would stick to, you know, larger companies, uh, you know, with pan-India exposure. Uh, those are the companies which will benefit the most. So stick to large companies uh, to play the cycle uh, and opportunistically look for, you know, smaller companies where the valuations are low and, you know, you're hearing the buzz of them being taken out. Hmm. The uh, deal, uh, you know, there's a sh share swap and then they're assuming some uh, debt, right? So is it eight? I mean, uh, so including that, it is 80? Yeah, it's uh, including that it is $85. Uh, 85. 
Krishan, that's a moving number. I mean, if Ultratech stock was the eight thousand, it was seventy five dollar. It is nine thousand eighty five. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's a moving number. Right. And uh, there's no way to kind of, uh, because as you said, there are other assets and uh, watch out for which are trading under that number. So uh, they may be uh, first in line to whenever more consolidation happens. Anyone's, uh, in your opinion, you want to name names, which are, which are, there's a long list actually. Yes, <laughs> uh, the buzzes around Orient Cement, India Cement, uh, Heidelberg, these are kind of uh, top of the rank. Uh, then there's buzz around a few other names also. So I would say, uh, you know, just keep a check on valuation. Don't go overboard. Uh, beyond $80, $85, nothing is happening. All right. Oriented about 85 uh, you know, EV per, per ton. Heidelberg at about 83 So uh, around that same kind of ball, uh, ballpark, as you said. Rakesh, great to have you with us here. It's a pleasure. Thank you for your time. And, uh, you. Uh, you know, thanks for joining in this morning.